Old woman is in the hospital after a hit and run, but the suspect is now behind bars after the victim's family was able to track down his car with the help of modern technology. Fox 12's McKenna Marks joins us now from OHSU, where the victim is recovering. Sarahi Rodriguez was hit by a car while she was riding her motorcycle on Friday the 13th. During that crash, her phone somehow made it into the suspect's car. So then after the suspect drove off, her family was actually able to track down that car by tracking her phone. In the time that I've been with the sheriff's office, I have never seen a case like this. Just after 7.30 p.m. on Friday the 13th, the Washington County Sheriff's Office responded to reports of a hit and run involving a motorcycle on Southwest Farmington and 157th Place in Beaverton. The driver of the motorcycle, 19-year-old Sarahi Rodriguez, was severely injured, and the driver of the car was nowhere to be found. Witnesses to the accident told police that the car involved in the crash was a dark-colored Scion XB. As the incident was being investigated, it was determined that Rodriguez's phone somehow ended up in the suspect's car. As the motorcycle and the car crashed into each other, the motorcycle rider hit broadside on the side of the car, which shattered that window, that passenger side rear window, and the phone went inside of that back passenger compartment. A family member noticed that Rodriguez's phone was pinging about a mile away from the scene of the crash, so they decided to go track it down. And that phone led them directly to a dark-colored Scion XB that looked like it had just been in a crash. Investigators determined that 27-year-old Julian Borjas Diaz was the suspected driver. He was arrested and lodged at the Washington County Jail for felony hit and run. Now Rodriguez is recovering at the hospital. Her helmet was crucial in saving her life. I can't emphasize how important it is to wear a helmet, not just on a motorcycle, but on any of the motorized two-wheeled vehicle. Hit and run cases don't always end with a suspect in custody. The sheriff's office says it's glad this case worked out the way it did. I think the most important piece for us is that she has survived. I think when we come to the scene, we're always fearful that it can go the wrong direction, that there is a fatality. But in this case, she survived, and we're extremely grateful that that took place. If you witnessed that crash on Friday, again, that was September 13th, investigators still want to hear from you. You can get in touch with the Washington County Sheriff's Office by calling their non-emergency dispatch line. Reporting at OHSU, McKenna Marks, Fox 12, Oregon.